the Mount Everest summit is now open and many records are already being made on top of the world. Nepali climber Kami Rita Sherpa reached the highest peak for the 27th time. With this climb, he reclaimed the record for the most summits of Mount Everest. Just a few days before, a Nepali Sherpa guide climbed Everest for the 26th time, becoming the world's second person to achieve the feat. Pasang Dava reached the top with a Hungarian client, sharing the record number of summits with Kami Rita Sherpa. But later, Kami Rita scaled Mount Everest for a record 27th time, beating his own record. But do you know, before the Everest enthusiasts begin their summit, there is a rope fixer team that prepare the route. Take a look. Ropes packed. Oxygen cylinders checked. And a prayer offered for a safe journey. Every year, Nepal's guides prepare for the risky job of fixing ropes that are used by Everest's hopefuls. This year too, a team of nine Nepalis reached the summit of Mount Everest. On the 13th of May, the weather cleared for the nine of them to climb to the top of the 8,849-meter mountain, paving the way for hundreds of climbers in the coming weeks. Yes, you boss are here. The here is this year, because of the weather, the rope to Everest was fixed only today, so that can bring changes. The summit window doesn't stay open very long, only a week to 10 days. I think it might be a little challenging because there are many people. We see who all are able to climb within that time frame. It is this limited period that can lead to traffic jams on the highest peak of the world. We are thinking in detail about how to avoid a queue as we plan. Remember this picture from 2019? It's one of a traffic jam of climbers leading to the summit of Mount Everest that went viral. Cut to 2023, Nepal has issued a record of 467 permits to foreign climbers this year. Since most of them will need a guide, more than 900 people will try to reach the summit this season. Fueling fears that a narrow section below the summit, known as the Hillary Step, could get overcrowded. I am excited, but also not. There are two reasons. One is that the weather is challenging. Another is that a high number of permits have been issued this year. Many people have come to climb Everest. Coupling that with the challenging weather, there might be traffic jams. With 11 challenges for a summit. For such a huge turnout, fixing these ropes is not an easy task, both physically or mentally. Rope fixing is a difficult job. We have to take responsibility of someone else's life. If tomorrow or not is damaged or anything else happens, it will fall upon us. Already three Nepali climbers died on the mountain in April when a block of glacial ice fell and swept them into a deep crevasse as they were crossing the treacherous Kumbu Icefall as part of a supply mission. Fatalities climbed to four when a 69-year-old U.S. mountaineer died in May during his acclimatization rotation at around 6,400 meters. The Nepal government came under fire in 2019 after several climbers died due to overcrowding. Decades of commercial mountaineering have turned Mount Everest into the world's highest rubbish dump as an increasing number of big spending climbers pay little attention to the ugly footprint they leave behind. This year, as soon as the route was opened, a Nepal army team moved in to clear waste dumped around the world's highest peak. Everest has been conquered more than 11,000 times since it was first scaled by Sir Edmund Hillary and Sherpa Tenzing Norgay in 1953. 320 people have lost their lives in the effort. Western climbers have criticized the government for allowing anyone who can pay the $11,000 permit fee to attempt a climb. Risks have been manifold this year with a record number of permits issued. Pointers enough to say that Everest's exploitation must stop. And now. <laughs>